Hello scientific people. Today we will be learning about the brain teasing problems of uh, spherical mirrors. Uh, this lecture is for mostly 8th grade students but uh, students aspiring for IIT, JWE and NEET exams may also view this lecture. So here we have all concave mirrors. So we have 4 concave mirrors and we do know that if we keep a linear object at different different places we get the image at different different places maybe real maybe virtual maybe in front of the mirror maybe behind the mirror as well but today we are going to discuss about two dimensional problem bodies so we had been till now discussing about the linear objects just like an arrow or a candle but suppose if you have something like a square okay so here i am putting an object Mm, say for example a square object or rectangular shape object like this right and I expect that uh, we all can draw the image of this particular uh, body now for for this thing the trick is that we split up the objects into two parts you can see that this part of the object is at C and this part of the object is beyond C. That means the image of this particular block would be this particular part would be there only at C because the object is at C so the image of the same size would be at the C. But since this part of the body is beyond C then its image would be somewhere between F and C and that too the image is smaller than the object. We know that the image is diminished somewhat like this. So you are supposed to draw the image of this and we know that it is real and inverted but uh, the size of the image is smaller than this one now we may since you have joined these two we may join these two so this part is the image of the object right so you can actually see that the area of the object has also changed so here what happens along with the linear magnification area wise magnification also takes place sometimes the area decreases sometimes the area of the object uh, and the image differs also. <clears throat> so let us continue uh, by drawing another by taking another case over here and uh, suppose now this time we have the object uh, somewhat like this. So this is again a block but this is an irregular block and one edge of the block is kept at C and the another is between F and C. So we can consider this block to be made up of two different objects something like this and now since this is at C at the same C same height the image of this is formed and since this, this object is between F and C then its image would be beyond C and larger than the object and real and inverted so we can expect something like this. Now if we join these two we have to join these two. So you can see that this is now the image of this particular block and you can see that the area is magnified here the area went down. So aerial magnification also plays an important role area decreases over here here area increases. So along with the linear magnification that means in terms of height the area of the object also changes. Uh, let us uh, look at a spherical a cylindrical object. So I wish to produce the image of a cylindrical object which is kept like this. So this is the cylindrical object right and I wish to find the image of this particular cylindrical object. So we know that same size when the, you can consider this as two cylindrical uh, two spherical because this part is actually circular in nature. So since this object is circular in nature so again a circular image of the same size is produced over here. So we may consider this as A B then A image A dash is formed at the C itself but since this part of the object is at F. So when the object is at F the image is produced at infinity. So I can't draw that but uh, this part will be very very far away from here and the size of the image 
uh, would be highly enlarged and it would be reared and inverted so this one would be down very far away so I can just expect this to happen you cannot expect me to draw this somewhere over here because infinity is not here it is very long distance so the rod would be actually deformed and the image of the rod would be something like this so this part is the image of the rod right so if you call this object as a b then a image is formed over here at a dash b image is at b dash again if you want to call this as a b then the image of a is over here b is over here like this right guys okay so we can take such kind of examples you know and uh, we can um, keep on going uh, like this and so for different different shapes we may have different different um, <clears throat> images as well so uh, if you if i would like to also give you one say for example a random problem uh, what should i give a triangle mm, okay let me give you a rod which is here like this quite difficult problem right but I suppose that uh, you can try to solve this particular problem this part is at infinity this part would be at the image of this part you call you can call this as a and b then the image of a would be at infinity and the image of this would be behind the mirror so the image would be quite bigger and uh, uh, you know we cannot actually draw it over here but this part image would be over here and this part at infinity so very a rod you can imagine a rod going somewhat like this would be your answer we can expect a rod going like this but i suggest that you can draw and show me the answers right okay let's move on now same thing if we want to draw it for convex mirror right so i am placing a cylinder on the principal axis of a convex mirror and we go by the same way let's call this cylinder as ab we know that more the object is closer to the pole of the mirror this is the pole more bigger the image of the object is right and so we can consider this a and uh, the a to be somewhere over here bigger actually my mistake the image itself is virtual erect and smaller than this one so smaller than this one like this this is a dash so this one is smaller than this one but the image of this would be even smaller than this one because the object is very much far away from the pole so the image would be far away towards the focus between f and p but it would be smaller than this one somewhat like this so the shape of the image is somewhat like this right so this was the this was the object this part would be a dash this part would be b dash more the object near to the pole more nearer the image is also towards the pole so like this but but obviously the image of, of a a dash which will be formed behind the pole would be smaller than a dash but this image would be definitely larger than the image of this one let us call this as b then the image of b would be since this is the pole and it is very much far away so the image would be more far away but smaller so if you join this is the shape right guys okay now another question was uh, like uh, this is a continuous mirror right continuous mirror and now if you have an object and since large number of rays they come out from the object at different different areas of the mirror it is going to hit right and we know that the image would be formed beyond c because the object itself is at uh, is between f and c so here uh, what you are being asked that uh, the brightness of the image is say for example i so the, this is the brightness of the image now what if if i start breaking some parts of the mirror 
and pulling them out some somewhat like this so you can see that the mirror itself is the same one but i have removed some sections of the mirror from in between and same object i am keeping it over here then what would be the nature of the image nature and what would be its effect on image like this i would like to oh, sorry i would like to tell you uh, or and make a point that uh, the since the mirror remains the same only so the image will be definitely formed at the same point larger than the object beyond c everything remains the same but the brightness of the image goes down and why it is so it is because more number of rays are now being going out these rays these rays were actually reflecting and contributing to the image so the brightness of the image more reflected rays were meeting but here now since more number of rays are escaping out of the mirror you can see that most of the rays are escaping out only few of them are getting reflected and meeting over here so we were expecting all rays to meet up at this particular point but since all rays are not meeting so the image intensity would go down the brightness of the image will decrease because most of the rays are escaping out they should actually get reflected and meet at a point to form the image make sure that all these rays are going to meet at one point right but uh, since the there are gaps over here so the rays would be escaping out so we would be continuing on uh, these kind of questions related to competitive exams right if you are not subscribed the channel do that right and uh, stay tuned